right guys, pick a blob for 60 bucks, comes with two Wii's, one unfortunately doesn't work, one does. Uh, I was under the impression both work, but that's why I offer the prices I do, just in case. I have a classic controller, all the cords for one, two controllers, which that kind of made it obvious too that one didn't work when it, yeah. If you buy a lot soft, then you, you'll get what I mean there. Uh, some filler titles here. We do have some of the better stuff being Sonic, the Secret Rings, and Mario Power Tennis. And some more fillers. There's also a copy of Mario Kart. Unfortunately, it didn't have Mario Kart in it. But fortunately enough, it had Miss Welsh's Second Grade West Pitcher DVD. No, but Wii Sports for Sports Resort. It's like a $50 disc only game, so not a bad one to be in there. Disc is in mesh shape, but it should work just fine. And uh, he also tossed in two of the PlayStation motion controls. They're not as expensive as they used to be. I'm thinking I'll get 20 a piece out of that. I'll get 40 to 50 out of that, and I'll bundle this off probably for 60 bucks approximately, just to make my money back locally quick. Simple, being the profit. So not too bad at all. Stay tuned for more guys. All right guys, sorry if it seems a little loud. I'm recording this basically on the side of a road. I uh, picked up the slot for 140. Comes with a black game cube, a black DS Lite complete in box. It comes with Luigi's Mansion and Smash Bros, uh, both missing manual. We have Day of Reckoning Complete, American Wasteland Complete, WrestleMania X8 Complete, some filler DS games. Uh, one that I haven't seen before, and it is an Atsumi title, but it's not worth anything. It's Cheer We Go. It's worth like eight bucks, but I haven't seen it before. But not bad for 140. Stick tuned for more, guys. All right, guys, nice little lot here. Uh, I paid 120 for everything. Have uh, N64 in there with expansion pack, a mini PS1, a PS1 controllers for all. There's three controllers for N64, cords for the all, kind of that. We have Sonic and Knuckles on Genesis, Sonic Classic, Virtual Bart, Game Genie, Mortal Kombat 2, and Sonic 2. And then for the, well, we have uh, WWF Attitude, the only N60, the only game I'm keeping on the slot just because I needed to complete a copy. So, Crash Bandicoot, Rescue, The Embassy Mission, Tetris, Metroid, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ninja Gaiden, uh, Mario Bros. 2, and Xenophobe, and 64 games are Pokemon Snap, Dark Rift, Sergeant Heroes 2, 007 World's Not Enough, Grey Cart, Star, Star Fox 64, Pod Racers, Donkey Kong, Monster Truck Madness, Sonic, I mean Pokemon Snap, was that Sonic Snap? Uh, Miss Pac-Man, San Francisco Rush, Hey You Pikachu. That's the only one that's got noticeable maple damage or anything, it's just unfaded. Jet Force Gemini, Donkey Kong 64, uh, Kobe Bryant NBA Courtside, Top Gear Overdrive, Revolt, Spider-Man, Banjo Tooby, Backstage Assault, and Tarzan. Got all that for 120, super good deal guys. Stay tuned for more guys. All right guys, so picked up another lot, uh, three separate lots. Uh, first, let's go over this one. So there was also an NES with two controllers, no power cords, and a zapper. Sold that to a buddy on the way home, as is for 30. Uh, with that one, I paid 20 bucks. I got Dr. Mario, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Super Mario Bros. 3, Kirby Adventure, Zelda, Road Rage, and Kirby's Pinball. So for $20, really good deal, already in the profit there. Um, next one was this, picked up a DSi and white and a Game Boy Advance. It does have a SpongeBob episode in it. And it came with Club Penguin. That was 30 bucks. The last deal, uh, Pink DS Lite with Charger, uh, some games, uh, Season of Ice and Road Rash being the best, but you also have Open Season, uh, Quad, Zoo Tycoon, Megamind, and Frogger Adventure. So not too bad at all, guys. Stay tuned for more. All right, guys, pretty cool pop pickup here. Picked up three. We have Kurama from Naruto. We have the Pharaoh from Yu-Gi-Oh. And we have my favorite Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh. 40 for the three. Pretty sure this was like 30. This is going for like 30 and these are like 20 a piece. So not too bad. Stay tuned, guys. All right, a little bit of a rant. Uh, picked up Zelda Collector's Edition. Uh, box has got scuffs all over the front, as you can see. Mark here, mark here, 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 here all over it and the seal's been ripped what in the hell that's so annoying spend all that money for collector's edition the box is tore up and it's not sealed so awesome <laughs> stay tuned for more guys
All right, guys, picked up a lot today. I uh, paid 300 for everything. Uh, GameCube games. This is Miss Mano for Need for Speed and for Mario Party 7. These are complete. We have Bounty Hunter, Jedi Outcast, Animal Crossing, Disney Memory Card, and Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, Disc only is Luigi's Mansion, Heroes Tale, and Time Splitters 2. N64 games. We have Shadows of the Empire, Courtside, NFL Quarterback Club, Track 2, Rogue Squadron, Ocarina of Time. Goldeneye and Ogre Battle 64, which is a big one. In the bucket, we have N64 with several controllers, including two Grape Fantastic and one Smoke Gray. It needs a new stick, but stick replacements aren't too bad. And it also comes with a green controller too. Uh, N64 comes with expansion pack. There's a couple Sega controllers with some miscellaneous cords, so not bad at all, especially for uh, the price of 300 bucks. Stay tuned for more. <laughs>